Hello friends, today we will discuss about the boundaries and contents of temporal and infratemporal fossa. As we have already seen the bony boundaries in the osteology of normal lateralis, today our aim is to see the boundaries and contents of these both fossa. Temporal fossa is a shared depression on the side of the skull bounded above by the temporal lines and below by the bony bar zygomatic arch and you can see here the green highlighted area is a temporal fossa on the side of the skull in normal lateralis view you have you have, you have appreciated this fossa there it has roof floor anterior posterior superior and inferior boundaries you can see the floor is formed by the four bones held at the terion location of uh, anterolateral fontanel lay you can see the frontal bone parietal bone squamous part of temporal bone and uh, this greater wing of sphenoid these four bones form the floor and you can see the superior boundary is formed by the temporal lines in by the zygomatic arch so it has these following boundaries floor you can see the four bones there held by terion roof is formed by temporal fascia anterior the posterior surface of the frontal part of zygomatic bone and superiorly you will see pair of temporal line super temporal line fades away inferior temporal line continues as the posterior boundary inferior boundary is formed by the zygomatic arch and part of greater wing of spinoid bone and coming to the contents it has a temporalis muscle muscle of mastication deep to it you have artery and nerve superficial to it one artery is there it is called as superficial temporal artery Coming to temporalis muscle, it is the muscle of mastication taking origin from temporal fascia and floor of temporal fossa. Anterior fibers are uh, vertical, posterior fibers are horizontal. It inserts into coronal process and anterior border of ramus of mandible. Supplied by deep temporal nerves, branch of anterior division of uh, mandibular nerve. This muscle is derived from first arch. So coming to the blood supply, deep temporal arteries, twin number. They are branches of the second part of maxillary artery given in infratemporal fossa and have a, a variant anastomosis just beneath this temporalis and deep temporal nerves, pair of deep temporal nerves, they come from anterior division of mandibular nerve. Mandibular nerve is a nerve of first arch and this masticatory muscles are also derived from first arch. So that's why temporalis is supported by mandibular nerve or you can say branch of mandibular nerve, superficial temporal artery lying superficially to the temporalis muscle at one of the smaller terminal branch of external cuter artery given in parotid gland and it runs superficial to the zygomatic process and about 5 cm above the zygomatic process it gives two branches frontal and parietal and anastomose with the other arteries of the scalp we have discussed about this artery in the scalp and this superficial temporal artery is commonly involved in temporal arteries and migraine so you can see there and one more content of this temporal fossa is auricular temporal nerve name itself says it supplies the ear and temporal fossa it is the branch from the posterior region of mandibular nerve sensory branch it gives general sensation to the ear and the temporal fossa it is formed by two roots which anchor, which uh, surround the middle meningeal artery and uh, it supplies the temporal joint and part of the temporal fossa and it also carries this uh, post ganglionic parasympathetic secretomotor fibers to the parotid gland from the otic ganglion and you can see here this is how the auricular temporal nerve comes and forms two roots around the middle meningeal artery and supplies this temporal fossa and the parotid gland. So this is about the temporal fossa. Thank you.